हेलो फ्रेंड्स वट आर हाइब्रिड व्हीकल्स वाई दे आर नेम सो वट आर द फीचर्स डेट आर इनकॉर्पोरेटेड इन द हाइब्रिड व्हीकल्स एंड वट आर द एडवांटेजेस ऑफ दिस हाइब्रिड व्हीकल्स सो प्लीज की वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो यूर गोइंग टू नो एवरीथिंग अबाउट द हाइब्रिड व्हीकल्स प्लीज गाइज इफ यू डेट सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल येट प्लीज 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 सब्सक्राइब इट एट दिस मोमेंट एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो टू योर फ्रेंड्स ऑल्सो देख सो दैट दे कैन ऑल्सो अंडरस्टैंड वट हाइब्रिड व्हीकल्स आर Okay, let's come. What hybrid vehicles are? So basically, our IC engines produce power in a wide range. But on the other hand, electric vehicles have the limited power range. But emissions of these IC engines is very high. On the other hand, these electric vehicles are of the zero emission. So combining both of these is a very logical approach. So what they do is they just combine the IC engine and the electric motor. to power a vehicle so that's why they are known hybrid vehicles because they use two power sources instead of single power source so this is the basic diagram of a vehicle of a hybrid vehicle this is the engine this is the gearbox gb and this is the motor electric motor that is powered by the battery this engine is going to be powered by a gasoline or a diesel so what happens is so both of these power sources that is engine and the motor gives power to the gearbox and then gearbox transmits this power through the propeller shaft to the differential and then to the rear wheels so what happens is both of these uh, so what happens is both of these power sources are making their efforts to drive the vehicle so that's why they are known as the hybrid vehicles so there are several features that are listed over here first of all the idle off idle off feature just turn off the ic engine whenever your car is at stop for several time that is uh, for few minutes whenever you are waiting for the red light so the ic engine just turn off because the ic engine is consuming some power so as to keep it running at the time of idling so it is still consuming some power so what happens is the energy stored in the battery is going to power your air conditioning all of the accessories all of the electrical department of the vehicle is going to be run through a battery not by the alternator at this time because the ic engine is turned off and when you drive the vehicle what happens is it is initially driven by the electric motor and after that whenever you need the engine or more power the engine also gets started and starts transmitting its power to the gearbox and then to the vehicle now coming to another feature that is the regenerative braking so this is very innovative thing that they did in this vehicle what happens is whenever you are just braking at the time of braking all of your kinetic energy of your vehicle is going getting converted into the heat energy by the brake pads now what they did is they incorporate a electric motor that is going to take some of the kinetic energy of the vehicle and just store that energy into the battery what happens is when you are braking so the week the these wheels are going to transfer the power in the opposite direction and then to this and what happens is the gearbox will transfer the power to the electric motor and then electric motor is going to work as a generator and hence they it will feed some electric supply to the battery so this stored energy can be used later on so another feature is the power resist in these vehicles the gasoline engine can be downsized that is the lower capacity of the ic engine can be used because there are two power sources so what happens is the engine is going to power the vehicle but when you, whenever you need higher acceleration the motor will also provide some power to the vehicle and hence it will compensate the downsize of the engine the benefit of downsizing the engine is that it will save the amount of the fuel that is used the extra amount of the fuel that is used so smaller engine will consume less power and this electric motor is going to compensate the downsizing of the engine so another feature of this hybrid vehicle is electric only drive so electric only drive allows the vehicle to drive only on the electric electricity that is the drive will be given only by the motor and switching of the engine so what happens is if you have a plug in hybrid vehicle you can just charge your battery to the full and if you have a larger battery then what can you do is just drive the whole vehicle by the electric motor only so what happens is this only motor is going to drive the vehicle now if you are not using the plug in type of the hybrid vehicle now you are going to use this feature only when at the lower speed of the vehicle and at the time of the start up of the vehicle so what happens is the motor provides the initial energy initial torque to the vehicle to start up 
and the engine is going to be used only at the higher rpms because uh, at higher rpms engine is going to perform better and high, higher efficiency now coming to the advantages of these hybrid vehicles that is the fuel economy yes fuel economy is going to be increased because engine is downsized and the power is also provided by the motor and the electricity now coming to another advantage that is the less polluting yes because the some of the efforts made by this engine is going to be made by this motor so that's why engine have to do less less work so that's why less poly, less polluting now coming to another advantage that is the better performance because engine and the motor is going to make some efforts to accelerate this vehicle so that's why obviously there is a better performance of this vehicle now coming to the fourth and the last advantage of this vehicle that is hybrid energy sources so if you are lost with the gasoline you can just charge the battery and run the vehicle on the electricity and if you are not having the electricity you can just refuel the tank and run this vehicle by the gasoline only so that's why you have two options to drive the vehicles so thanks a lot guys i hope you understood everything about the hybrid vehicle if you still have any doubts and inquiries you can please feel free to ask me in the comment section below i'm going to answer all your questions if you didn't subscribe my channel yet please 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 subscribe it at this moment and don't forget to share my videos to your friends so that they can also connect to me thanks a lot guys for watching my video keep watching keep sharing and keep supporting guys thanks a lot